Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Glisten and Glow's Asteroid Belt and I'm going to stamp. I started off with Annie Digit's Glitter Be Gone and here is Glisten and Glow Asteroid Belt. I've already got my base coat on. It's all nice and dry and we're going to go in with the first coat of Asteroid Belt by Glisten and Glow. This polish has an amazing formula. It probably could have been a one coater but I'm a two-coater kind of gal, so we're going to go in with another coat here in just a minute. I am being sure to cap my tip so that the mani lasts longer. And here we go with that second coat, as promised. It really could have been a one-coater, though. It's just, you know, very, very nice and opaque. There we go. Gorgeous. It looks a lot bluer on camera, but in real life it was like a dusty bluey purple. I just have been drawn to those colors here lately. So we're going to top this one off with some posh top coat and get it to dry down so that we can do some stamping. Anybody ready for some stamping? I am. Capping that end again with the top coat. Oh, and I got a fuzzy. I'm going to fish it out of there. Good, good. Look how pretty that is. It's just bling-tastic. I'm going to be using this AliExpress BC03 stamping plate today and my Conad stamper and scraper. Nicole Diaries NS04. It's the silver stamping polish. And I'm going to use this little image and I'm going to place it up near my cuticle line. Just like that. Now I don't get it centered, and as you can see, I got some gold near the tip. So I'm going to get lucky and remove that with some tape. Sometimes that works. And we're going to just continue this on all of my fingers except my ring finger. I'm going to do a different design on that one. And I am just removing any excess now that I've learned my lesson and with a piece of tape because I don't want any of that extra polish on my nails. Just want it up there where the design's supposed to be going. So far, I'm really liking this combo and these images. And this BC plate is doing just fantastic with my Conad Stamper. I know last time when I used it, I used the Starry Stamper from Born Pretty, the sticky one. There we go. I've got some more silver on the tip. And I'm not getting so lucky this time. It's not coming off. So I'll have to swipe it with some nail polish remover. But since I've got a top coat on and it's dry, I'll be able to do that. And here we go with our ring finger design. I just wanted to do a full design on that nail. There we go. Nice pickup. So I'm really happy to see that these images off of this plate is picking up really nice with the Conad Stamper. Go get that out of the way. Move it, move it. Here we go. Line it up and stick it to the nail. So here we go. We're going to put some top coat on these and call it to done. Making sure to cap that free edge. I really ended up liking this one. I thought it was pretty cool. So I hope you enjoyed it. I've got a swatch photo coming up soon. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about it. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. That's all I have for today. Thanks for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon. Bye.